Welcome, my name is Dr. Jason W. Morrison and I'm a theologist from New South Wales, Australia. Psychologists help people with themselves and other people and theologists help people with themselves and God. Hi everybody and thank you for joining me, Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist. Um, I do appreciate it if you've made it this far. We're up to Revelation chapter 8. It's been a journey. It's been a, 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 a fantastic, wonderful journey. Revelation chapter 8, verse 1. When he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about a half an hour. Ooh. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Then another angel, having a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense, that he should offer it with the, with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints ascended before God from the angel's hand. Wow! Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and threw it to the earth. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. Oh my goodness! Now, just remember, the church is out at this time. You are all out. So the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. Now, we're out. The church is out. We're up in heaven with the Lord. The first trumpet, vegetation struck. The first angel sounded, and hail and fire followed, mingled with blood. And they were thrown to the earth, and the third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up second trumpet the sea struck the second angel sounded you're not in this if you're a believer in the, Je the lord jesus christ you're not here in this this is happening to the earth after we're gone then the second angel sounded and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea and a third of the sea became blood and a third of the living creatures in the sea died and a third of the ships were destroyed so there's still ships the third trumpet, the waters struck. Then the third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch. Is this some kind of a meteorite? And it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. My goodness. And a third of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died from the water because it was made bitter. I wonder what that's going to be. It sounds terrible. I'm not even going to try and guess. You can, but I'm not. The fourth trumpet, the heavens struck. Then the fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars. My goodness! So that a third of them were darkened, a third of the day did not shine, and likewise the night. And I looked. And I heard an angel flying through the mist of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Now remember, you're not there. Through your faith in Christ, you've been taken out earlier because of the remaining blasts of the trumpet of the three angels who are about to sound. Now I'm just going to stop there, but I'll be back shortly. I'm going to get a, a picture to put in this. Now this is Clarence Larkin's. Um, brilliant work that he produced uh, way back in 19, I'm pretty sure that says 1919, um, which left Charles Taze Russell's work for dead. But this is what he says. Now, I just want you to note that the seven trumpets that we're talking about are here, okay, in this part of the end time. They're here. But the church, the believers, the, the hidden treasure, they were raptured here. We've gone out here. So these horses and trumpets and seven persons, there's an interval here, and the seven vials and everything, we're already out. We don't come back into the picture until here. We're up in heaven at the marriage of the Lamb, Supper of the Lamb. And that's the good news of the gospel. We are not going to go through this. Anybody that believes in the finished work of Christ will not go through this horrible tribulation and great tribulation experience and i've got to make that clear this is the good news of the gospel what we're reading about now is for the poor souls that never went up 
in the rapture. So that would be these fools, Jehovah Witnesses, who think they're going to stay on the earth. They're, you're not. There's 144,000 there that are Jews and the great multitude, which is um, anybody else that believes, way they go. So on that note, that's the good news. We've gone before what we're reading about now happens. And I'll see you in the next chapter. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. Watch it on YouTube. Please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. Watch it on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one of life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.